Hello everyone, I am Dripsy and welcome to my very first video. For a while I've been itching to show off my building skills and such to the internet, but I couldn't really figure out how to do so since I didn't want to make just another tutorial video. However, I'm not against making tutorial videos if some of you viewers would like to see that. I think a lot of Minecraft players are interested in becoming a better builder and there are loads of tips and tricks on how to build online, but there aren't a lot of videos explaining how to improvise. Therefore, I made this rather short video to hopefully explain improvisation in Minecraft a little bit. As I'm finishing up this second house, you might have noticed that I like to create an interesting shape and just go from there. Most of the time I already have uh, some sort of block palette in mind, but in my opinion the shape and the details are the most important parts of creating a good looking structure. Sadly enough, I forgot to start the replay mod when building this Spanish house, but as you can see I mixed some blocks that colorwise go well together. The reds of the bricks and granite blend very well and this is enough to make the house look fairly detailed. I also added a front porch, a bell tower and some sort of diagonal chimney. I've done this to make the house look a little bit more special instead of just your regular L-shaped house. For the last house of this video I'll slow down a bit and go over my thought process while improvising a structure. When I'm building a modern house, for me the thing that works best is to build a shape and then add to it. So here I started off making a tall wooden window and I put the front wall underneath. I put a colourful wall through it and extend it back so that I have the side as well. I make the roof a little bit lower to create points of interest and also by doing this the overall shape won't become a large cube. I decided that I wanted to make the wooden thingy go down at this side so that I just won't have a red wall here. And in modern builds I like to end off most walls using another colour. I don't really know why I did that, I just think it looks pretty good. I then proceed to fill in the front window and the roof, for some reason thought that it would be a good idea to make a big stone pillar and went on to work on the back of the house. At first I wasn't sure on what to do with the back, but then I figured out it might be cool to add in some more wood. I make the roof overlap only for the purpose of it looking interesting, and then I make some big windows to create that open feel that most modern houses have. You can just about see that I connected the window to the wood using some ant rods. Again, no idea why, but at least it's something different. Here I made that stone pillar come all the way up over the wall to make a smaller section to work on. I had absolutely no clue on what to do with these parts and you can see that I just simply tried some things. In the end I filled it in with some end rods and I did like the look of it but not in combination with the white wall. So I thickened the stone base up top, this way I could put in some sort of water feature here with the end rods in front of it and in my opinion that looks about 10 times better. wanted to make a little bit of a walkway to the front door, I thought it looked a bit too clean and thus I extended the grey and red wall to create a more encased path. I also made the front door out of glass to just break up the large amount of white wall. After that I go around the house to see where I want to put in some more windows. For the waterfall part of the house I thought it would be a good idea to see what it would look like if I'd centered a window from the inside. But as you can see, that would be off-center from the outside. Now normally I would decide if this would be a big problem, uh, since normally I would put in interiors. But I'm not doing that in this video, so I figured out that I'd center it from the outside. Uh, so if you guys would want to see some interiors, let me know in the comment section below, and I would see if I could make a video about that. And lastly, I finish up with filling the top of the roof with light grey concrete powder and grass, and I'll make some sort of parking spot at the front of the house. This concludes all of the building in this video, I'll slowly let the camera go over the houses once more so you can hopefully get some inspiration. Now, I gotta admit, I have built better looking modern houses and I'm not really happy with how this last one turned out. It's not a bad looking house by any means, but it doesn't really do anything for me. The other three houses on the other hand I am pretty happy with and these showcase my building styles a little bit better. Because this is my first video I've ever made on YouTube, I'm really interested to hear what you viewers would like me to cover next. This could be interiors, landscaping, tutorials, or maybe even survival gameplay, I don't know, just 
let me know in the comment sections below. I would be happy to entertain at least one of you guys with my channel. That's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video, but most importantly, learned something from it. I've been Ripsy, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.